here I am in Ghana. It's about 7.30 in the morning. If you can see it, blasted hot this morning already. Ghana is pretty much on the equator here. It means they have pretty even 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of darkness everywhere. We came here with a group called TGC, Teachers for Global Classroom. The intention is to bring some global education into our schools, especially at Geneseo. I've been in the school last week, I'll be in the school next week. Right now, I'm almost down to the beach. You can see behind me that this is an arch to commemorate the independence from Britain in West Africa. This is Ghana. You can see all the people. It's a weekend here, so they're all swimming. You can also see a lot of football, a lot of soccer going on here. So, I'm going to go down for a run on the beach. I'll see you later. We don't have tro tros in Geneseo. This is my first tro tro ride. Why don't you take a look around? We're heading back. So <laughs> say hi to everyone there. Everybody wave! <laughs> Alright. So maybe this will be the next school bus. It's been fun traveling with you. There we go. That's what a tro tro is. Thanks. with some of the administrators here. If you look around the conference room here while I'm talking, you can kind of see what a conference room looks like. And we're talking about some of the difficulties and successes. One of the interesting things here is they seem to have a problem paying the teachers enough. And one solution was that this, the government will provide a loan so that teachers can get a motorbike so they don't have to walk to school. So for lunch, they eat beans and then plantain. That white over there is gari, which is a pounded root. And in that bowl is plantain, which is a you seem to be in a traffic jam here. I'm not really clear why. I, there's a lot of people out there and it just seems like we can't go anywhere. This is this is what it looks like here. Right there. Good to see you again. I'm here at the Ministry of Education with my friend here. We are just talking a little bit to the deputies and one of the things that's sort of interesting in the newspaper this week is when the, some of the schools don't like their school test results, uh, one of the schools was shut down because the headmaster, which would be equivalent to the principal, was threatened to be molested. Apparently the teachers could be molested too, so they cancel school uh, until they can get test results. Here we are taking a walk through the market. She's got snails there, some sort of a nut here. Looks like a lot of grains and eggs. A lot of things that we don't normally have and vegetables. Look at that good stuff there. Hi, we're here today in Kakum okay. National Park. This is near Cape Coast, Ghana. This is a residual rainforest that was donated by several communities. You can see the big trees around me. These, the girls in the green dresses, about 55 of them, have come with us from the school where we're working. And I'm here to take a canopy walk. 
So stick around with me. I'm sure things are gonna get exciting. They're here, taking a walk across the bridge. And there's the bridge. I'll just have you pack it then. Uh, can you do me a favor, get a flip of me? Hi, how are you? Yeah. We're here at Cape Coast Castle. This castle was changed multiple times with multiple European powers over the years. It was a major slave trading location where the Ashantis would bring slaves from the interior. The Fanti would uh, hold or send them off. You can see the coast out behind me, the shore. There's some boats around here. So it's a little warm. Always fun here in Ghana. Mr. Asman, uh, Asman Omar here and his wife Amina. Yeah. So, and Asman, could you tell us a little bit about where you live and what it's like here? Uh, yes, we are in the Mamobi, that is one of the suburbs of Accra, a predominantly Islamic community where there are lots of Muslims that live with an Islamic culture. Here is a very congested area in Ghana. And most of the people had come from different parts of the country. It's very cosmopolitan and diverse. And uh, the stable food here is Tozafi, that is TZ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> most of the compounds that are here, we have a lot of people. Sometimes you can get about between 20 to 30 people in a compound. It's a very congested area. 